Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and this morning I'd like to do the painting of the narwhal, the unicorn of the sea. I'm going to show you how to paint this from start to finish. And I, I, I think it's, I picked some pretty good colors and I just want to show you, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool pattern. And I'll show you what color paints we're going to use. We're going to use uh, Liquitex paints, uh, acrylic paints. These are the uh, this silver. We're going to use white. We're going to use gray, and we're going to use black. So it's going to be very simple today. The first thing that I want to do is I want to paint the tusk on the unicorn's head, right here, and we're going to paint that a silver color right here. So what I'm going to do is take the silver, and we're going to paint that. Put that right up here. And now we'll paint that. So you know, just paint it just like that. See that how I'm doing that? Just like that. Because what I like about this color here, it really accentuates the tusk and the, the, the curls and things in it that, that we had created. It really shows that off well. So we're going to want to paint all the way around. So I just want to make sure that that's... Just like that, and we go all the way around. Just like that. And I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Just like that. Okay, so that was starting to look really good. I want to make sure we filled in all those areas that need to be filled in. Just like that. See that? Starting to look really, really, really nice. Let's put just to add a dab more. There, we got that. So now I'll take that. The next thing that I want to do is I want to paint the underside of the narwhal white. So we're going to take the white color. I'm just going to check my model that I had painted previously. Yeah, and that, yeah, I'm going to paint that white color. That right there. Okay, so now I'll take this here. See that how we're painting? Just like that. See that? And then I want to get the other the other the other flipper on this side. Paint this right here. Paint the flukes or the tail. See that? Paint that side there. that a nice color white that way. And now we'll start to paint the underside right here. So 
see how nice that looks. Just like that. Now I'll just try to paint this like this a little bit that way. Get more of a straight line. See that? I'll just try to see how I did that. The paint down to here. Just like that. Then going to add a little more paint. I just want to make sure it's it's nice and white. See where I've done that? Just rotate that back and forth so you can see it. So we can add a dab more paint. Make sure we got that. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to actually take the blow dryer now and we're going to blow dry it. And now that we've blown drying that, it's, 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 you know, it won't come off the way it, now that I touch it. I'm just going to put this right here, wipe my hands a little bit. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use gray. So we're going to take the gray and put that right there. And now, I can take this brush again. I like this brush. It does a good job covering everything. Okay, so now we're going to take and paint the top part gray here. See that? See how nice that looks? Paint all around, make sure we didn't miss any spots. That looks good. So now we're going to proceed to paint this here. See that? A nice gray. See that? Get some good coverage. A little bit from the underneath now. See that? See how nice that's beginning to look? I think we did the tops of flippers here. Just paint that nicely, put that right on. Put the paint around the eye.
So we're, we're painting the front of the head now. See that? here to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll add a more, more paint to the tail because I want to make sure that there's good coverage there. Now, a little more paint here. I just don't want the, the color of the clay to show through, so I just want to adding a little more. And then I'm going to paint a little around the mouth here. See that? I'm going to flip it around. We're going to do the same thing. Right here, where I put some white before, I just want to We'll paint this right here. And now, I'll paint around the eye. Just going to add a little more paint, and then we're going to. See how nice that looks? I want to make sure I didn't miss any spots in the front. See how nice that looks? I want to kind of turn around so you can see everything. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take the blow dry and blow dry it so it, we can dry it up a little bit. Put that down. That appears to be dry now. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the eyes. So we're going to use black. And put that right here. We're going to paint a couple of different things. I want to do the blowhole that's on top. That's how, how they breathe. I want to kind of accentuate that a little bit. So I'm going to take and put a little black paint in here. See that? And now we're going to take and we're going to paint the eyes. Eye is right here. See that? Paint that right there. And another thing that I want to do is paint the inside of the mouth a little, right here, black. So it kind of really stands out. I'm going to paint that in there. And I want to make sure that I got the underside of the mouth too. Inside there. 
So that makes it a little, a little more visible. I'm going to come back in with the gray a little bit. I want to paint around the eye because I just touch it up a little bit. So I went around that. See that? That's the great thing about paint. You can just touch up things if, if they need to be touched up. I just want to go around the eye a little bit again. See how nice that eye looks? So the next thing that I want to do is we want to take and we want to add various colors. So what I'm going to do is we have our colors already here. We have the, the black, the silver, and the white. So what I want to do is start to take, and we're just going to take this small brush, and I'm just going to dab. Just ever so, just make, just dab a little bit here and there. See that? I'm dabbing that. I'm going to dab that around like that. Just little dabs. See that? We do the f dab the flipper. Just little dabs. And then we're going to paint around the head the same way. Just like that. See how that is? Paint up around. See how nice that looks? We're going to even do the tail. See that? Just randomly just dab it. And then we'll, this is the white color right now. And we're going to do that. on here. Now I'll flip it around and we'll do the other side. See that? Just dab it. Just like that. So now we got the white color. You can see that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wash off my brush here. Now we're going to come back in and we're going to use the black. Dab with the black. See? See, I'm, I'm doing that right there. See that? And then we'll do the other flipper. And now we'll start working the front of the head. See that? to the top. 
So you're right that top area there. So what you're doing is you're going in between where you did the white. So you're not going over the white, but you just make a little like dots. Now we're gonna we'll even do some of the tail here. See that? Just like that. Now we'll put some here. See that how nice that looks? Now I'm going to swing around to the other side. Put them there. See that? Just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is wash the brush. And now we're going to come back in with the silver color again that we had originally. And we'll dab it, we'll dab that around too. See that? We're going to dab through the tail. See this? Just like that. Then we'll do the top. Flip them around. And that's pretty much covers everything. Look at how cool that really looks. With the three different colors, the silver, black, and the white on top of the gray. See how nice that looks? And I'll show you what the final version of the narwhal will look like, as I call it, the unicorn of the sea. We're going to take, and I'll show you this right here. See this right here? Look at the beautiful silver color. See how you can see the swirls on the tusk? And I think that silver color really highlights that, really brings that out. And then you can see how the, all the underside is white. And then you can see the, the, how we did the, the side and the back. So that there is your narwhal, the finished version. And I'll just kind of flip that over. See how nice that looks? And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations of Clay today. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.